organ systems learning about different organ systems the human body is a wonderful creation comprised of a number of internal organs that work together in an orderly and systematic manner all of us must know the names of some of these internal organs want to name some right we have heard of the heart stomach liver and some of you know a few more today we are going to study about organ systems all organs like the heart or stomach don't work alone a group of organs in our body work together to perform a function this group of organs working together is called an organ system the organ systems we will be studying about are the digestive system the respiratory system the circulatory system the nervous system the excretory system and the skeletal system click on the system you want to study about digestive system you love to eat food right yes the food we eat is digested by the body with the help of the mouth stomach and the intestines digestion is a process of breaking down the food to simpler forms so that it can be absorbed by the body when we eat food it is chewed by our teeth and gets mixed with the saliva in our mouth food gets moist and slippery and is pushed into the food pipe or the esophagus the esophagus contracts and pushes this ground and wet food into the stomach the stomach is a j shaped body made of muscles the juices of the stomach act on the food as it is passed into the small intestine the small intestine is a coiled tube which is about 20 feet long so if you are 5 feet tall your intestine is 3 times your height this digested food is absorbed by the walls of the small intestine the remaining undigested food is passed into the large intestine the large intestine absorbs the water from the food and the undigested food is thrown out of the body through the anus the food absorbed by the small intestine enters the blood this blood flows into the liver the liver stores the nutrients from the blood and also changes the food from one form to the other these nutrients are then sent to different parts of the body respiratory system the process of breathing in and breathing out of air is called respiration the organs which take part in the respiration forms the respiratory system the organs are the nose windpipe and the lungs we breathe in air through the nose air is sometimes accompanied with dust and these dust particles are filtered out by tiny hair inside the nose this dust free air then enters the trachea or the windpipe from the trachea the air enters the lungs the oxygen from the air is taken by the blood and carbon dioxide is given out oxygen helps to break down the food absorbed by the body the food gives us the energy to work or play circulatory system the circulatory system is made up of the heart blood and blood vessels arteries and veins the heart is as big as your fist and is a muscular pump the pumping action of the heart is called a heartbeat a healthy person's heart beats about 72 times a minute a normal human body has about 4 to 5 liters of blood 
the blood helps to carry out all the nutrients and oxygen to the body and carry away waste material from the different parts of the body. The blood transportation is performed by blood vessels. Blood vessels are of two types, arteries and veins. Arteries carry oxygen-rich blood to every part of the body from the heart. Veins bring blood full of carbon dioxide back to the heart. This process is repeated with any stops during a person's entire life. Click on the system you want to study about. Nervous system The nervous system is the most complex and delicate system containing of the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves. The brain is the center of the nervous system and it controls the entire body. The brain is protected by a hard bony skull. The brain is responsible for sending and receiving messages from all parts of the body. The spinal cord is a thick bundle of nerves which run down the spine. The spinal cord nerves branch out to every part of the body. The spinal cord collects the messages from the nerves and then sends them to the brain. Other nerves carry messages to control the movement of the body. Nerves send information from one part of the body to another and this information reaching the brain through the nerves helps us to see, hear, smell, touch, taste and a whole lot of other things. Excretory system The excretory system consists of the kidneys, uterus, urinary bladder and the urethra. The excretory system helps to collect the liquid waste from the body and helps to get rid of them. The main organs of the excretory system are the kidneys. These are two bean-shaped organs located on each side of the waist or the lower abdomen. The kidneys filter the blood. In filtering the blood, the kidneys get rid of waste in form of urine. The urine is carried by the tubes called uterus to the urinary bladder. When the bladder is full, the urine is passed out through the urethra. Thought the lungs and skin are not parts of the excretory system, these organs also help in removing body waste. The lungs help in throwing out bad air and the skin helps by removing waste as sweat. Skeletal system We can stand, sit, bend or run easily because of the bones and muscles in our body. All the bones of our body are together called as the skeleton. The skeleton is hard and strong. It forms the frame of our body. It gives the body a firm shape and supports it. The skeleton also protects the delicate organs inside the body. The heart skull protects the brain, while the rib cage protects the heart and the lungs. We have 206 bones in a fully grown human being. The point where these bones meet are called joints. Muscles are like elastic threads that join bones with each other. Muscles help the bones to move. Contraction and relaxation of muscles make these bones move. The movements of some muscles like our hand and leg muscles are controlled by us. The heart muscles keep on moving all the time and helps our heart to pump blood to the whole body. This heart muscle's movement is not in our control. So, 
That is all in this lesson student. Good going and keep learning.